Hello, I'm Tom Williams from the Fort Huachuca Public Affairs Office, and this is your Fort Report. The U.S. Army Intelligence Center of Excellence began the final day of military intelligence, also known as MI, Hall of Fame activities with a change of command of the 305th MI Battalion on Chaffee Parade Field on Fort Huachuca. Outgoing commander, Lieutenant Colonel Adam Boyd, passed the battalion colors to the commander of the 111th Military Intelligence Brigade, Colonel Kevin Wilkinson, who then passed the colors to the incoming commander, Lieutenant Colonel Jorge Arredondo. Colonel Wilkinson reflected on Colonel Boyd's time as the 305th commander. Under your command, you developed a command climate focused on fitness, discipline, and trust. Your command was focused on discipline and trust. You are the type of leader that always looked for solutions and spent little time dwelling on the problem. You empowered your subordinates and provided them the opportunity to grow. While doing so, you provided them sound advice and counsel, something you regularly provided to me as well. He then greeted the incoming commander. Jorge, hey, welcome aboard. Your background and strength to be invaluable to the brigade and the real fit. As you and Betty get settled, I know your poor leadership and local community will make you feel welcome and back at home. Take the time to review how business is done and then make the necessary adjustments to continue to move the organization forward. The outgoing commander addressed the gathering. The soldiers, civilians, contractors, and the instructor gathering, thank you for your dedication and imparting intelligence skills to these young soldiers. You provide them with the tools they need to succeed in this challenging profession. The platoon service, Thank you. You're there when the soldiers wake up, you're there when they go to bed, you instill discipline, and the soldiers are better for it. And the incoming commander made remarks. Major General Ashley, Colonel Wilson, thank you for the incredible privilege and awesome responsibility to command this national treasure. Lieutenant Colonel Boyd, Christian, thank you for the exceptional handoff and for your superb leadership of the unit over the past few years. Later that day, eight people who made exceptional contributions to MI were inducted into the MI Corps Hall of Fame at a ceremony in Fitch Auditorium. This year's inductees represent military intelligence stretching from World War II, Vietnam, Central America, and the wars in the Middle East. With over 230 years of combined service, the leaders you will learn about today have proven their loyalty in the defense of our nation. And they've served the Army in times of peace, in times of war. They set an example for others to follow, and they've left a legacy that has impacted generations. And then the new members were inducted. Commissioned as a second lieutenant through the Auburn University ROTC program in 1974, Lieutenant General Burgess began his career in a series of company-grade assignments of increasing responsibility in armor and military intelligence units in Germany and at Fort Stewart, Georgia. 249 MI leaders have been inducted into the Hall of Fame over the past 28 years. The activities then continued with the formal opening of the MI Soldier Learning Center. It is really for the Intel Soldier to come here and learn about their history and learn about their history from other Intel Soldiers as opposed to, you know, you always find yourself in senior leadership. Well, this is really for the young soldiers, and when you notice when the door opens, you get the wall. Uh, the, the, the wall from the divided journey, which is kind of a hook for them to come in and go, I think I recognize that. Let me come in and see what's there. A ribbon was then cut to open the facility. The MI Heritage Learning Center is located in the heart of the U.S. Army Intelligence Center of Excellence Complex on Hatfield Street. The MI activities continued with a luncheon and ceremony at the Thunder Mountain Activity Center. The guest speaker brought news from the Pentagon. Colonel Ashley has been nominated for promotion to Lieutenant General and to be the next G2 of the Army. Captain George Fust was then presented with the Lieutenant General Sidney T. Weinstein Award for Excellence in MI. Sergeant Tyler Benjamin was also presented with the Command Sergeant Major Doug Russell Award. Then, a building in Weinstein Village was dedicated in honor of Specialist Brittany B. Gordon. The intelligence analyst died near Kandahar, Afghanistan, when enemy forces attacked her unit with an improvised explosive device. When we remember Brittany, we are reminded of the values and ideals of duty, honor, country. Ideals that she embodied throughout her life and commemorate this building to her name as a permanent reminder to each soldier that will pass through these doors and follow in her footsteps. 
Specialist Gordon was serving with the 572nd Military Intelligence Company, part of the 2nd Infantry Division. That'll do it for this edition of the Fort Report. Have a great day.